All right, it's Chris Rupert from Falling Edge, and we're back here looking at the last little bit of that song. <clears throat> you may remember from last week, we're kind of deciding what to do after the the bridge slash solo section. So let me just cue this up. Let me get to where we're at here. I essentially finished everything up last week. So here's a bunch of stuff. You may remember some of these parts. Here we are, end of solo. Okay, so remember I was wanting to bring that part in, decided to do that. I'm not gonna give away too much here. So there's that little sort of end of a verse then. This from now familiar bridge section from before. Then we go to another chorus. And then I add a little bit of a coda at the end to kind of finish the thing off. So it's not a fade out ending. I, I just second, I don't think it was a fade out ending. Yeah, so we have an actual completed ended song there. So uh, you may remember I was toying around with different ideas of different things that I might want to do there. Uh, and this is what I came up with to kind of bring more a, a previous section of the verse in and then another chorus at the end. So that actually got taken care of pretty quickly after our video last week. And in the meantime, I've been, or I put that, spending time now working on the lyrics. I was gonna start into the drum part and I thought, you know what, I really should get these lyrics going so we know what the song is about. So lyric wise, um, this is, sometimes I have an idea what my song is going to be a, about right from the start, but not, not always and probably not even often. So when you're working with lyrics, you may remember back here I played a couple of, let's get, cue this up here, I played a couple of sections of what I was calling placeholders, just little did a dit sort of things. So that I knew kind of what I wanted rhythmically and melodically there for the vocal. So, you know, keep it in mind, like, lyrics lyrics are not poetry. Lyrics have to be sort of poetic, obviously poetic, but with the, the music really being kept in mind. So, you know, as far as what the words are going to be, that's it's always going to be determined by, obviously, by what the melody is, and what the melody is, like, what the rhythm of the melody is. And so, whereas with, with poetry, you know, you can sort of, like, if, you know, I've probably written a poem since high school, right? But... But you know you're you're kind of wide open with what you can use if you want your music to work together well with your lyrics your lyrics have to be fitting in rhythmically well with the music and so the that rhythm is really going to dictate how many syllables are in your words and what kind of words you're going to use so uh, i just got a quick show you so i started s scrolling down some notes there's some stuff there none of this is actually the song there's more there there's more there and then finally on this page i have more or less completed a couple of verses uh, of the lyrics of what the, of, of what's gonna be in the song so it took me a while like I said to, to you know you might seem kind of strange that I'm writing a song not really knowing what the words are gonna be not really knowing what the lyrics are gonna be about but I'm always approaching it from the, a musical standpoint so I'm looking really at okay what are the, what is the rhythm and then that's going to of course dictate what the words are gonna be and then when you get words that sound good together since that in fact is that's the art of writing poetry right is to have words that not only tell a good story but sound good together then you know then you can I can kind of start decide on, on where it's gonna go so I have all kinds of different words that sound good together with a good rhythm with all entirely different themes or meanings and then I sort of pick from there um, okay so as I said those those lyrics are more or less done and what I'm gonna do when I say more or less I think that you know I wonder that always sounds bad to you guys it's like oh the guy doesn't know what he's doing but it's not that way at all I've, I've really got the lyrics mostly fleshed out but I always give things time to evolve so when I'm working on these when I'm practicing these practicing singing these things and stuff it might come out there might be better ways that I can do it or I make it a better line or be able to change some words to make it fit even better or sound even better so what I've got here is, as I said, is more or less concrete, but it certainly may, uh, hopefully it does, hopefully it evolves and gets even better. I'm, I'm already happy with what I got, but if it gets even better over the several months that I'll be working on practicing it before I actually record it, then all, you know that's all the better. All right, so I'm not sure next week 
Um, whether I'll do a video or not, a uh, video talking about lyrics might not be all that interesting, but we'll see what happens and we'll see. Lyrics can be a time consuming process, so uh, for me anyway. So, um, you know, if there's not a whole lot new to, to report, maybe I'll just do a, just a, I'll do a written thing on the blog or something. But anyway, if you're enjoying these, as always, uh, leave, us a, leave us a comment down there, subscribe to the video, and go visit www.fallingedgemusic.com. And we'll see you soon.